Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Uh, I'm on the road running a shit ton of errands. If you saw my puppy video, you know that I volunteer for a place called Hope for Life Rescue. And I basically am a transporter. So, I gotta pick another puppy up on Friday. And because I hadn't done this before, I didn't have any of my own stuff, and I had to drive to Hope for Life, and they had to dig out a crate for me and, you know, to transport the puppies that I got the last time. Well, me being me, I don't like using other people's stuff. I'd rather have my own. So I've been in search of crates to transport these animals. I'm on my way to the chiropractor right now because my neck has been incredibly stiff and annoying, and I'm going to get adjusted, and then I'm going to head up a couple of uh, pet supply type places and see who's got something and how much. Most of the time I'm finding that obviously if you go into a retail store, it's a heck of a lot more expensive compared to if I were to I, I don't know, order it from Amazon online. I sort of compared it out and it can be almost double the price if I get it in a store compared to ordering it from Amazon. Now, the problem with ordering it from Amazon is that even if I had done this yesterday or even the day before, I would not have gotten the crate before I need it tomorrow to go pick up this, this new puppy. I mean, that's fine. You know, I can always order one and get it after that because I'm going to continue to use them, but my immediate need is not being met. So I'm going to have to try to find something. I'm not going to go out and buy you know, like a $2,000 crate, and you joke, but I have seen some that, that are at like $1,000. I mean, that's ridiculous. So, I have to look around today, but I don't want to piss away my entire day looking for dog crates. I have to get something that, that will suffice. I also don't want to buy a piece of crap for 10 bucks, you know, that's all rusted and bent and shit, so I gotta do that. And then I'm, I'm trying to think ahead of all the things that I need. So not only do I need the crate, and I have the exercise matting, that foamy shit, that I can put on the bottom to make it a little bit more comfortable for, for the puppies, but I also need to get, probably, I need to get puppy pads, you know, so when they take a piss and, and take a dump in the cage, you know, it's, it's not going onto the cage, whatever. So I need to get some of that, and I also probably just need to go to like a dollar store or something and get a bunch of towels, a bunch of cheap towels. What else do I have to do? There's other shit that I gotta get. Obviously, it's a daily thing of going to Target and to a grocery store, because there's always stuff that we need. So I'll be doing that as well. That's the day's plans. Now, it is, as you can tell, a bright sunny day. It's also 47 degrees, which is a big up from 30s and 20s, because it's been pretty cold the past few days, and, and snowing or raining which is awful. So I'll take the sun today and it's also warm enough that, that it, it's, well, it's much warmer and I'll take that too. And I thought that just to switch things up so I'm not just blathering in my office, you can listen to me blather in my forerunner. Okay, I think we're all set now. What I did was I bought a 36 inch crate and then Hope for Life gave me this other carrier for the bigger puppy. So here's what I did. So now I have this 
fatten down to the headrests so that it doesn't go anywhere, not that it would anyways. And then I have it so that the door opens up here on the side. And that way I can keep it back here, buttoned up all the way against the seat. And all the puppies or whichever dog or cats or whatever I'm picking up can go in there. And I zip tie the handles down or the handle down so that it doesn't rattle and make noise like it did last week. And then I have uh, just my extra jacket on the top there to keep that handle from going. And then I have this one buttoned down with that over there. And then I have my safety equipment all on the long side there. Plus all the extra towels and microfiber cloths and or microfiber, I guess blankets they gave me to go just like that and now I can I'll keep my cage my carrier in there because there's no point in pulling it in and out if I'm going to be doing this all the time and that's there so I can just pull that out real quick and I still have room to put groceries and whatever the hell else I'm carrying in there and then I've got my rear camera which is you now straight there, so it all closes up nice and neat. And I got my emergency flashlight down there. My little garbage can. This is down. Truck monkey is there to watch over them. And I should be good to go. And now I can also um, use one of my clamps to film puppies and so on and so forth. Plus, now that they're right up here, even if I put it under the center console monopod, it should be good to go. Okay, so today was a bit of a success. I went to the chiropractor, got adjusted, feel great for now. I got a crate of my own. I worked out getting six puppies tomorrow and I got my truck all set. And now I need to go in and eat and do some day job stuff and that's it okay i'm already pooped just from driving around all day and putting together that dog crate and rearranging my forerunner and getting everything in there ready to go for tomorrow tomorrow is probably going to be pretty exhausting too if last week is any indication i mean last week i drove eh, about two hours and 10, 15 minutes to go pick up those three puppies. But then I had to drive all over that town trying to find the actual place I was supposed to pick them up. This week, when I thought I was just going a little over hour, hour and a half to pick up one dog, now I have to go further out about two hours, 10, 15 minutes to pick up five puppies, then come back to the original place, get the other 25 pound dog, and then bring them all back to hope for life. So it's going to be a relatively long day and I'm just gonna kick back and, and enjoy it because uh, yeah, puppies, man. So that's it for today. I just got home and I finally just ate lunch and it's four o'clock. So I just finished lunch at four. I haven't eaten since breakfast. I'm kind of pooped. As you can see, I'm, I'm totally chilling on my couch and enjoying not doing anything <laughs> and that's all you get for today because i'm pooped tomorrow i'm gonna try to get a couple of different cameras in the forerunner with me and i'm gonna film as much as i can of of you know the whole puppy saga and we go from there well that's it for today though so as always thanks for joining me like subscribe and all that shit and remember kids forward and up